What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scoop and Marina. Got a really quick video here for you. We're actually gonna be repairing one of my employees' wetsuits and he's got an 865 here from Marias. And what has happened is, is he's got a small laceration here in the neck seal of his suit. Now the good news is it's just through the neoprene. It's not actually through the nylon material here. So that's gonna actually help us seam this back together very easily. Now to set this up, all I've got is just a piece of cardboard here on the table to kind of work on here. I've just got some wetsuit glue here and there's several different Different brands out there this is actually an amazing goop brand um, but there's also aqua seal and a couple other different ones out there I've also got another couple little pieces of cardboard and what that's gonna help me do is after I've got the wetsuit kind of pressed back together with the glue I'm gonna be putting one of these little spring clips on it and the problem with the spring clips though is when you put it on there it's actually gonna be creating indentions or impressions in the wetsuit material and I actually don't want to do that so to help prevent that I'm going to just be putting some small pieces of cardboard in like this and then I can spring clamp to the actual cardboard and not necessarily the suit and that's going to help hold its form now once I have this done I'm going to let it set overnight check it in the morning and if I need to re-glue something I can but after about a 24 hour period it should be good to go now the first thing I want to do of course is just kind of clean the area off if I need to wipe it off get any frays use a pair of scissors or whatnot to cut any of the frays out um, and obviously this one's in pretty good shape so we can actually go ahead and get started so i'm just going to take a little bit of glue here it doesn't take much at all and you don't want to overpower it with the glue because you don't want it bubbling up and you don't want the cardboard glue into it so all i'm going to do is just kind of open it up and i'm going to spread a little bit of glue down on the inside of it like so and just kind of spread it out with your fingers there now this glue is actually pretty tacky so you want to kind of work fast with it but all I'm gonna do is just kind of squeeze it together and I'm gonna take off some of the excess because I don't want it actually gluing itself to the cardboard. And I'm gonna take the cardboard and I'm gonna push it up underneath it. Try to keep everything as flat as possible. Squeeze it and as you can, if you look close enough, you can see there's still just a little bit of glue coming out there, which is okay. I'm gonna put this piece of cardboard on top. I'm gonna put my little spring clip on. just like so and like I said the biggest th reason I'm using the cardboard is to keep everything flat and it also prevents this spring clip from actually creating an indention in the neoprene material itself now I'm actually gonna let this set overnight make sure I get my glue put back up here I'm gonna let it set overnight let it dry and cure real well and then I'll double check it in the morning and see if I need to re-glue anything or maybe cut a little bit of the glue off anything like that and once all said and done, I'll get it back to the customer, or actually my employee in this case, and hopefully he can take it out and go diving. But guys, as you can see, neoprene repair is not very difficult at all. You just want to make sure that you've got the area clean, you get any of the frays cut off, and it, anytime you've got a laceration, a good clean cut is always going to be the best. If it's gouged out and, and you've got to try to fit pieces together, a lot of times it's actually easier to just patch it versus doing what we're doing here. But guys, if you find this, inter this video interesting, do me a favor simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. If you've got any questions on other type of gear repair, please put that down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.